Welcome back everyone, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, here with another Hero Breakdown video. And we have the hero from the collaboration with the King of Fighters 97, Mai Shiranui. I apologize if I'm butchering that name, but this is the new hero dropped by themselves from the King of Fighters 97 collaboration event. We're going to break down this hero in our usual way and also talk about that little icon there at the top here but first we're going to talk about their skills different heroes uh, different ways they'll be used in combat probably a good talent tree build for them as well as what heroes you expect to see this commander placed with first off we're not off to a great start or at least we have an idea of what they're going to be used for they have the illustrious field battle tree and the general tree that you know i hate so much field battle it's telling me that this is going to be very fast here. So let's take a look. First off, we have a Rider Commander that hits multiple targets. Deals Scorch damage to up to two enemies in a fan-shaped area in front every second for 4,500 and reduces their travel speed by 25% for three seconds. Now, the game really needs to stop with the amb ambiguity of how they write these skills. I can tell, based on how they wrote it, that the Scorch damage is likely going to last for 3 seconds, which means that on each individual target, it's going to be about 13,500 damage factor, which totals to 27,000 points of damage on a Rider Commander that's massive. But they don't explicitly say that. That should be written here for 3 seconds, and then the travel speed should be its own separate writing but looking at this they're designed to hit a target slow it down make sure they can't get away and the two enemies is for if you're actually in group combat still being extremely effective the last commander we had deal with anything like this was cynthia who dealt a straight 7800 damage and reduced attack and travel speed by two seconds so this is definitely a strong upgrade from Cynthia looking at skill number two we have Rider Squad HP 20% and basic attack damage dealt to slowed targets 33% so meant to be paired with someone that slows targets on a consistent basis as well as being able to survive a little bit more and there's so much slow going around in combat that it's likely that the target you're hitting is constantly going to be slowed in some way shape or form um, between the amount of Cynthia's the amount of Rigoros there's so many different ways to slow your targets that basic attack damage is going to be pretty nice Rider Squad attack of 30% so we already have a total of 50% buffs Rider Squad travel speed of 15%. That's actually pretty low comparatively. Again, we're going to use Cynthia as a reference here. No, travel speed of 12%, so it's not that much higher. But I know there have been other commanders that make you faster than that. For example, you have Elena's Awakened giving you a 20% buff. Bella having a... 30% travel speed increase when not in combat, so definitely hunting people down. But a 15% buff seems a little bit low. This kind of commander, it's still going to see some use. And we have another 20% buff, so that's already 70% in buffs. And that's actually a Rider Squad attack buff of 50% split between two skills. I already hate that. That's the, I think that's the first time we've seen that happen, where the same stat is split between two different types. Something I'm probably going to need to test to make sure that it's not a bug. Or a typo. After leaving battle, increases rider squad travel speed by 30% for 5 seconds, if the remaining squad size is above 50%. So, 
farm killer. Designed to get to your farm, kill it quickly, and as long as you have more than 50% of your troops still, you're going to get to the next target that much faster. And because riders are already insanely fast, they're likely going to stay ahead of the people that are chasing them. And finishing this off with increasing the stats of that fourth skill. Going to Rider Squad Attack of 30%, which totals it out at 60. And after leading battle increases, Rider Squad Travel Speed by 45% for 5 seconds, as opposed to 30. So, in total, we would have a 60% increase to travel speed during those 5 seconds. That would decrease down to 15%. A 60% total increase to Rider Squad Attack and a 20% increase to Rider Squad HP. First of all, perfectly happy that there's a minimal amount of skills that operate that with ambiguity. The first skill, definitely going to need to make sure that this one affects people for as long as it's supposed to, and two affects both enemies. And as long as it the rider squad travel speed goes up by any amount, it's going to help her get away from her enemies. Before I get into how she's going to be used, if you haven't already figured it out, here we have Shiranui Ryu Ninjutsu. Increases damage dealt to ranged squads by 5%, but damage taken from infantry squads increases by 3%. These aren't the greatest buffs, but every little bit helps. Riders are designed to take down weaker ranged units in the first place. Catch up to them, kill them, and move on to the next target. Infantry are too slow to really hurt, catch them if they don't want them to, so she can definitely be used to get away from her enemies quickly, especially the ones that can hurt her more, such as the infantry squads. Now, as for who... She's going to be a field battler. I, I definitely see her being used as a farm killer. The amount of damage that she has isn't reduced by cheesing it, so trying to absorb one of the attacks isn't going to help you any. So she could definitely be used as a rally assistant. I would not use her as a rally leader. She doesn't have the talents for it. But she definitely has the damage output to pull off a uh, rally assistant. But I... We're going to see a lot, if she comes out before Archipelago Raid, we're going to see a lot of her running around the map on Archipelago Raid. Just collecting the resources and getting out of combat before anyone can even catch her. And if you do manage to catch her, she it appears as if she has the highest damage among Rider Captains in the game so far. Not single target, Elena still has that, but... To overall damage yeah this is this is definitely going to be an interesting addition to group combat as well that being said moving on to talents with the field battle tree you're going to build her similar to how you build cynthia in case you want someone faster i'm not the greatest at building out a speed build i'm not um Personally, I would max out the uh, the field battle tree just so you can get from point A to point B faster. Yes, it does incur a 12% reduction in speed in battle, but that 12% isn't going to m cause you to get caught. And it guarantees that once you're out of combat, you can get where you're going. Um, after that, definitely want to go into the rider squad and buff your rider stats so they can kill a bit faster. I do, I'm not sure if you can max out both of these. Having that additional damage would, in the first 10 seconds of battle would help from a farm killer's perspective. Because most farms aren't going to last 10 seconds. But even if you don't, increasing the travels, uh, sorry. You reducing the skill damage taken is definitely the choice you want to go with on this side. You also have increasing uh, travel speed by a certain amount when using basic attacks so that you can get out of combat faster. 
from there, who are you going to pair her with? Um, honestly, her with Cynthia wouldn't be a horrible option, but I would personally pick replacing Cynthia with Mai and running uh, my Bella. Bella having the 30% increase to travel speed when not in combat. The additional rage when uh, entering battle means that she can back out of combat, come back in, get her amazing skill off, and then likely get out of combat before you're retaliated against. And the amount of attack buffs and damage that Bella can add to her is is just going to be a wonderful addition. If you don't have Bella, Elena is going to be a nice option, especially if you have her awakened, giving her another 20% travel speed across the board and a great damage over time effect on a single target. Uh, I do believe that these two paired together would be one of the more powerful single target killers, especially amongst riders. However, if you're out farm killing, you won't be able to make use of the flanked bonuses, so keep that in mind. It, definitely an option for in group combat. Though. That being said, she's a lot more straightforward than I was expecting. Um, if you saw my up game update video where I thought that she was going to be a zombie hunter because she was coming out by herself and because of the video that they put out uh, about her, I was wrong, and I'm more than happy to admit that. Um, I'm happy they didn't bring out another zombie hero. We've got plenty. So, I'm wondering if this is going to be a consistent thing coming out with this ninjutsu or this additional stat up here at the top. And how exactly she's going to come around, because it only says KOF and Doomsday. If King of Fighters is only going to come around this time... That means that there's going to be a very limited amount of people that have this. So if you want her, if you're running riders and you want an additional farm killer, I would start planning out how you're going to get that now. Because with this new event starting in a few days and coming with some really nice armaments as well, you're going to want to make sure that you can get enough fragments in order to unlock her. One other thing that I did notice upon this update. It takes two general fragments for one Mai Shiranui fragment to upgrade her. This is going to be the, only, uh, the first hero that has done this. Hopefully they do not make this a common thing. Because that would be horrible. That means that if you're going to upgrade her with Universal Fragments entirely, it would take over 1,200 to awaken her. I believe almost over 1,300. And that's after you have unlocked her. So keep that in mind moving forward. I don't know if I like the way that she was presented, but she will add another farm killer option for people who like playing with riders. And with that, this is Mr. Brain, your friendly neighborhood gaming dad, signing off.